Ever wonder how you never have all the room that you used to have? Let's see if I can't get you a little bit on this. I'll tell you, that plasma cutter is a wonderful thing. All this dross and stuff that I see here is probably just a that's kind of the beginning sign that my consumables in there are getting a little worn out and I've cut really decent cuts with it before but I mean let's see if I can't I don't take hardly anything to get this stuff off so I guess it's another tough. thing that I mean I just mark these points I don't know that, that might be about Maybe an eighth inch. It might be halfway through. It's a good round mark at least, so that should tell me. I mean, at least the uh, part of the consumables are still cutting well and that uh, it'll work out nice for, I mean, I just marked it because I kind of want the holes that I'm going to put in there, I believe, a quarter inch and uh, kind of a kind of a rule of thumb for the type of plasma setup that I have is the limit of getting a somewhat decent hole is the thickness of the material. Your diameter of your hole has to be greater than the thickness of your material. So quarter inch thick, I have quarter inch holes I'm going to put here and here. So I just figured I'd mark them and drill them. I mean, I'm probably going to chase this hole and these holes anyways, so why not? Um, tell you if I have to necessarily chase these ones real quick is because they're supposed to be a half inch. I mean, I don't, I haven't taken the time necessarily to really zero in my kerf and everything on this. So yeah, I'm just gonna drill them out. No big deal. This hole, I might not have to. I cut it to 3 eighths knowing that I was gonna put a 5 16 bolt through. So that's good. And this one, I did the same thing. I might turn around on this one and uh, put a 3 eighths through anyways. I don't know, I think if I had a decent washer, this will work for that, so. All right, so you guys can't possibly be sick of watching me drill holes. So I'll figure I'll let you suffer through a few more. Alright, so something I probably haven't ever mentioned up to this point is that uh, when you do plasma cutting it, and like the plasma cut edges on these holes, it's a very, uh, it kind of hardens the steel a little bit. And so that hardened steel, what it takes to drill through it, I mean, if you have, I guess some of your cheaper drill bit sets, you might get one or two holes through that hardened bit and then you're gonna start trashing your blade, so or your drill bit. So um, if you're gonna do stuff like that, you gotta make sure and get yourself a nice set of drill bits. Like
All right, so I'm willing to bet that somewhere around here is that six flute countersink that I've been keeping with the drill, but it is no longer around here. So what I'm gonna use instead is one of these, what's called kind of a zero flute countersink. And you know what, it's cheap, it's from Harbor Freight. We'll see if it does it or if I break it, I'm not concerned, so. Alright, so that ran so much smoother than a six flute, no joke. I've heard great things about them, but that is something right there. Yep, hands down, that's where it's at. Get the zero flutes. Sometimes it's useful to have a, the next size down to clear your hole. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.